a Narbox. This is to to transfer footage from a camera, a drone, into here, and then edit the footage on your phone. All right, so I'm here at UNO uh, today to finish up my review of the Narbox. I bought this Narbox a couple days before I went on my huge trip uh, across the country and bought this and a tablet instead of trying to buy a really high-end computer or laptop. The positive things about the Narbox is that it's great at doing its primary function which I believe its primary function is to save your footage out in the field as a backup data source. So if you shoot stuff on a camera or a GoPro, you can, or a drone, you can put it on here and it's safe. This is a waterproof housing. You know that's all cool. But for three hundred dollars for a hundred twenty-eight gig uh, box, which for three hundred dollars that's too much for media backup, I believe. The editing part is worse because of the playback ability of the Narbox. So, I have a old Samsung Note 3. Old, like, you know, this is six years old technology. And it didn't work very well in Narbox. So I was like, okay. Uh, I borrowed my sister. She had like an S6, um, Galaxy S6. Ran much faster. I was like, okay, so I definitely need a newer uh, phone or tablet. So I went and bought a brand new Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Brand new, 32 gigabytes. Now, on the first night, of using the Narbox, I had no problems for the most part watching footage. There was some delay here and there, but as the days went on, things got really bad. One of those things was when I took footage from the, the Sony camera, which is 1080 footage, and put it on our Narbox, it would start to play footage from other days. So I would bring stuff on from day three and it would play the audio of day one underneath the video of day three. So for some reason the Narbox was confusing file resources. Like they had the same file name, I think that's why, because they had the same file name. So, because every time I put a card back in here, I reformat the card. And after I reformat the card, uh, it starts again at C0001. But the, whenever I was putting them in here, I was putting them in their own files. So the Narbox, I think, was confusing. Like, it was going to go render the audio, like, like compress it so I can play it back. And for some reason, it was getting confused and going to a different file location for the audio. I ended up, since I had this brand new Samsung, I found an editing program that did everything I needed to do. And I literally took whatever file I wanted from my Sony and I exported it to the, uh, the tablet. And then I did the same thing with my GoPro, just export it. Because everything I was recording on the GoPro was 1080 as well. Now with the DJI uh, Mavic Air, everything was 4K, so that, that wouldn't re work on the tablet. So I had to like render out something and then export it to the tablet. But I want to go over is here some of the, what some of the issues I ran All into. Alright, so what I'm doing here is transferring 5 gigabytes of video. The video we just captured of me talking at UNO. And it's it took three minutes, first of all, to transfer that five gigs. Um, seems kind of long, but, you know. All right, now here we are. We're trying to actually play it. This is the play menu. Nothing's popping up at the bottom, a little playhead. So let's go in and look at the little task manager. And it's saying it's generating a video stream, of a one gig video stream, which took seven minutes to generate the video stream. So now it should play. And nothing's happening. We hit play. Nothing. And, yeah, move the cursor. Nothing. So we'll go into edit. Let's go and edit. Let's see if maybe sometimes that works. Nope. Still video pause. Video playing. Nothing's playing. It's just stuck on that first frame. Now this is three minutes of transfer time, then seven minutes of processing team time. That's ten minutes for a one gigabyte file. And nothing. So as you can see, even with a brand new video, and after taking minutes to generate a video stream, it still will not play. So that's the point. I give the Narbox a very bad review because for three hundred dollars, it's not doing half the stuff. Now, if it costs two hundred dollars, and it was just something that you could store, store your media, and it was a backup system, then I would think it'd be worth it. But for three hundred, it's not.